Okay, so we have a question right here. It basically says that the photograph shows a ladder that a person can use to climb into the roof space of a building. When not in use, the ladder is stored in the roof space and the opening to the roof space is covered by a board. The board is hinged to the ceiling at one end. The ladder is attached to the board by a rail as shown. A small block prevents the board from rotating into the roof space. State what is meant by the center of gravity of an object. So it's very simple. Let me explain you through a uh, image, right? Basically, this is your flat ground and above over here is your box, right? For example, it's a box and the mass is basically distributed in here. Okay. So now your weight will act at the center because it's the center of gravity of an object. So it will act at the center of the object facing downwards, right? Now let's say your object is tilted a bit, right? So here your mass is distributed. It is on a flat ground. Okay. Now your weight direction will be facing downwards, right? But did you see that before your weight direction was actually here? Now it's tilted a bit, causing it to change its directions, right? So we for in order to write this answer, we have to explain the same thing, right? Like it's a basically a point, basically like this point, sorry. Yeah, like this point where the weight might act. We don't know where it's going to act properly, but we just, you know, give an assumption that the weight will act here when it's flat on the ground and when it's tilted, it will act right here. Okay. So we have to explain the same thing in this question. Okay. So we will write a point sorry a point through which through which weight may be taken to act okay so part b says that the weight of the board and the rail is 15 newtons the weight acts at a distance of 0 0.45 meter from the hinge as shown the total length of the ladder is 2.7 meter with 0 0.85 meter to the left of the hinge the weight of the ladder is 54 newton assume the ladder is uniform explain why the board and the ladder remains in the position shown okay so i have drawn some images below let me explain you what is actually happening so basically this is when the board is open it's the images from the part a right so th this is when the board is open and the ladder came down when the ladder is closing up the ladder goes towards more right side and as you can see that the ladder is right side and the board is closed now we have to just basically explain that basically why is it in the same position they want to ask why is it in the same position why it's not like you know going towards right sorry sorry going towards left or opening up again like what is happening right so basically now we will calculate some values right here okay so let's understand what is the basically how why it's balanced up right so we first we will figure out why it's balanced up we need to show them some numerical values right so first now we will actually figure out from the hinge point right where is the weight of the ladder is acting okay so that's our first step now we have the total length here right so as you know it's in uniform basically the ladder is uniform so the weight sorry the weight will act at the center of the ladder right so if you divide basically 2.7 divided by 2 seven zero okay divided by two it will be equal to 1.35 meters right so at 1.35 meters basically from one end the weight uh, the weight is acting somewhere here right and we don't know from where basically what is the distance between the hinge and the weight right we just know that basically the weight is acting one point sorry one point three five meters from one end right my bad for the bad things okay so one point three five meters right 
we figured that out now we need to figure out from the hinge to the width what is the basically how far it is right so we will subtract it from basically 0.85 when you subtract 0.85 from 1.35 you will get this area basically this length which is the length from the hinge to the w right so this will equal to 0.5 meters right so now we know that basically the weight is acting clockwise and the 15 newtons which is the weight of the board and the rail right is acting at anti-clockwise how no, how would i know that which is clockwise and which is anti-clockwise you can just figure out from a clock right if the clock is going towards the right side it's clockwise and if you want to figure out what is anti-clockwise it is the opposite of it so it's basically right here right 12 11 10 9 right so the weight is acting here so if you if there is no weight on the left side then the hinge will move this way okay so it's moving towards the clock side clockwise side okay and if you remove the weight from the same thing like from the right side then the weight of the 15 newton is moving anti-clockwise right so now we have to calculate the moments for it right so clockwise moment and anti-clockwise moment so clockwise moment is equals to basically 54 newton which is the weight for the ladder times the distance from the hinge which is 0 0.5 meter that we have calculated so it will become 27 newton meter okay now the anti clockwise moment right which is actually 50 newtons right which is this 50 newtons times the basically the length of from the hinge to the uh, basically the weight here okay the weight of the uh, board and rail okay so once you multiply it it's 0 0.45 meter and now it will equal to 22.5 newton meter right okay so now you might be wondering what is actually happening like why these if they are not equal like the clockwise moment is not equal to the anti-clockwise moment why it's not like doing something why it's not going towards right side or left side or whatever right so basically what is actually happening is that the board and the ladder stays in the position because even though the clockwise moment is greater an external force basically this which is the block right is basically providing an additional counter basically counter acting moment moment right basically it's helping it or maybe it's the hinge is helping or the block is helping it to balance out the momentums right so it's making the overall moment basically the turning effect of the system basically to zero right so we just have to explain this simple stuff in in the word form right so basically we will write it like this you can write it in your own words as well so basically the board and ladder stay in position basically in that position because even though the clockwise is greater then anti-clockwise moment yeah you can write moment as well moment i forgot to write moment here moment okay moment most likely uh, there must be an additional force or extra force most likely there is an external force like for example the block like sorry like supporting block 
right which provides which provides an additional and additional counteracting counteracting moment basically this ensures that the overall moment basically the turning effect moment you can try turning effect as well on the system is zero on the system is zero right you can write it in short words as well i just wrote a sentence that i thought it might be well explained you know because we need to get these two marks of explanation from this five marks okay so part two of the same question says that a uh, downward force is required to rotate the board away from the block this force applied 0 0.8 meters from the hinge determine the magnitude of this force okay so if you remember the previous part question right it said that it was at equilibrium right the moment was actually zero because of the block like even though we had the moment of clockwise which was 27 newton meter greater than the anti-clockwise moment which was clockwise moment which was 22.5 newton meter even though the clockwise moment was greater but we had some help of the block and the some of the help from the hinge to basically to make it actually equilibrium the reaction there was any reaction force right so basically it made it the whole process equilibrium the moment basically was zero right so the resultant moment so now what happens is that now we are applying a force 0 0.8 meters basically away from the hinge like somewhere maybe here some sort of force right so we need to figure out how much force are we applying right so before you see that we had the difference in them right if we applied the same moment basically the same force like we can calculate the moment difference from here the moment is actually 27 minus 22.5 it will give you 4.5 newton meter right so basically if you apply this much moment at basically 0 0.8 meters from the inch it will actually open up and the block won't be able to help it stop it right so the ladder or the board will open up and the ladder will come down right so basically now the magnitude of force basically f is equals to 4.5 newton meter divided by 0 0.8 right it basically comes from the moment formula which is moment is equals to f into d which is force times displacement this is your displacement i just have made the f as subject so this is your displacement and this is your moment right so your force value is 5.63 sorry not 63 2.25 if you round it off you can either say 5.63 newtons or more rounded off and make it two significant figures which is 5.6 newtons right for your final answer which is 5.6 so basically this is your actual final answer right